with a beloved calorie deficit before I even give my opinion on it. Ooh, unfortunately we don't have time for that. We do have time to correct you on all the dumb stuff you're about to say. Over the years where you have restricted yourself and you put yourself in a calorie deficit, how did that impact your relationship with food? How did your energy levels feel? Did you notice an increase in thoughts and obsession around food? Ooh, wow. It looks like someone's confusing a calorie deficit with starvation. Those are not the same things. You see, someone who's intelligent would create a calorie deficit of 300 to 500 calories. That could come from just activity or just food, or if they want a moderate approach, it could come from both. That wouldn't be very difficult at all and the result would be fat loss. By calorie deficit. Mm -hmm. Did you notice that foods that may be nutrient dense but had a high caloric or energy value such as almonds were considered bad because they didn't get you in that calorie deficit? No, I didn't. But again, assuming the person's intelligent, that's to say the opposite of you, they would strive to limit high calorie foods like almonds. Not completely eliminate, but limit them so they could stay in a calorie deficit to lose fat. You know, the whole point of a calorie deficit. I do not support calorie deficits for many reasons. Our bodies are constantly changing and have different needs every single day. Well, that doesn't mean anything at all. So instead of a calorie deficit for fat loss, what do you suggest we do? Do you have a method we haven't figured out yet? Putting our body in a calorie deficit is so silly because it's also going to slow our metabolism because our body is going to think, hey, I'm not getting enough energy and I don't know if I'm stranded on a deserted island. If we were stranded on a deserted island, I still would not take your advice. You're acting like a calorie deficit is a starvation diet, which it's not. A calorie deficit is the mechanism by which we lose fat. It's not a method, it's not a diet, it's the actual mechanism. I'm just wondering what cereal box do people like you get your RD licenses from because I want one. And if calorie restrictive diets worked, then you would have never had to go on a diet again. RD credentials included. Oh my god. All jokes aside, if you take a calorie deficit too far, it will be unsustainable and you will fail. But if you're intelligent, you plan ahead with a moderate calorie deficit and you monitor your results week after week for slow and sustainable results, you'll be successful. Hmm, let's think about that. 